Welcome back travelers, a recent leak regarding Genshin Impact has hinted at a significant change in Hoyoverse design philosophy, particularly with the highly anticipated release of Natlon. As we eagerly await the unveiling of the game's sixth playable region later this year, fans are already abuzz with speculation about what wonders and challenges await us in the fiery pyro region. Unlike the more detailed reveals of Fontaine and Sumeru, information about the characters from Natlon is sparse. While Murata, Spelank, and Ian San have been confirmed as characters from Natlon, the identities of the remaining cast members remain shrouded in mystery. Join me as we delve into these topics in this video. Be sure to stick around until the end, and don't forget to check out the timestamps in the description below for easy navigation. In a recent revelation by the reputable Genshin Impact informant, Uncle Tevat, it has come to light that Hoyoverse is undergoing a significant shift in its approach to world design with the introduction of Natlon. According to the leak, the focal point of Natlon's design will revolve around storytelling elements, deviating from the traditional open-world exploration experience that players have grown accustomed to. While the region will still retain elements of open-world gameplay, its primary emphasis will be on weaving a compelling narrative. The leak further elucidates this shift by citing the Remuria subregion, which was introduced in version 4.6, as an illustration of Natlin's design direction. The renowned source, Gura, has recently revealed intriguing details about the scale of Natlin's map and several upcoming features, heightening players' anticipation. According to the latest leaks surrounding Natlin's development, the forthcoming version 5.0 update is poised to introduce a map that rivals the vastness of Sumeru's entire landscape from the version 3.1 update. This significant expansion occurred during the update, which expanded the Dendro Nation and introduced the expansive Great Red Sea Desert. Speculation and leaks concerning Natlin's location within Tevat suggest that it is positioned southwest of the Sumeru Desert, adding to the mystery and allure of this upcoming region. According to Leaker, C. Lee, the tribes in Natlon are arranged in a unique vertical manner rather than spread out horizontally. It is believed that the inhabitants reside on a colossal mountain, with each tribe occupying different elevations. Additionally, there is rumored to be an intriguing gameplay element involving a volcanic steam cannon, which is used for traversing long distances across this mountainous terrain. Recent information from Uncle K, also shared by Team Mew on their Telegram channel, suggests that the upcoming version 5.0 is expected to unveil two new 5-star characters, with versions 5.1 and 5.2 each featuring one new 5-star character. While the specific identities of these characters remain undisclosed, it is speculated that Ian San, Spelank, and the Pyro Archon could be among them, based on patterns observed in previous region releases. While some details about Spelank and Genshin Impact are already known, Uncle K's confirmation that he is part of a long-lived race adds weight to the rumors of him being the Dragon Sovereign of Natlon. This revelation opens up intriguing possibilities for his role in the game. Considering that Klee is currently the only Pyro Catalyst 5-star character, there's speculation that Spelank could follow in Nuvolet's footsteps as a Catalyst hyper-carry, while the other could take on a more off-field support role. Leaks also provide additional details about the upcoming Pyro Archon, particularly regarding their appearance. The Pyro Archon in Genshin Impact is described as being a big sister type of character, and is most likely the Claymore character that will release in version 5.2. The leak reveals that the Pyro Archon will have two distinct forms, a medium female form and a tall female form. The medium female form was first depicted in concept art released in early 2024. This form features a golden mask, a red and white dress, and indigo feathers, which visually connect her to the Electro Sovereign, a character who is intended to be non-playable. In contrast, the tall female form is described as wearing a red and black hat adorned with crimson feathers, flame-patterned pupils, and long hair that transitions to a fiery gradient at the ends, tied in a low ponytail. This form also includes white feathers on her chest, a red cloak with golden trimmings, and other fiery details. Considering the design patterns of previous Archons in Genshin Impact, it is highly likely that the tall female form will be the Pyro Archon's playable model. While it's too early to tell which upcoming Genshin Impact characters will be popular in the meta, the leak claims that the Pyro Archon isn't an event banner to be skipped.
Emily, a highly anticipated five-star Dendro character from Fontaine, seems to have had her release delayed. Current indications suggest that she will now make her debut in Natlon, featuring as an off-field character scaling with attack. Recent leaks from Team Mew suggest a surprising twist regarding Columbina's identity in Genshin Impact. Fans had long speculated that Columbina was a Sea Lee, given her initial appearance in A Winter Night's Lazo. However, the leaks indicate that she may belong to a blessed race directly linked to the gods of Natlon. This new classification draws parallels to existing characters like Yamiko and the Arenara, suggesting that her species might have been created by the previous Pyro Archon. The leaked information also hints at Columbina playing a significant role in Natlan's Archon quest, indicating that her species is likely indigenous to the region. This aligns with rumors surrounding Zbalank and Genshin Impact, believed to be one of the Dragon Sovereigns, the original deities whose power was overtaken by the Archons. Despite Columbina's importance, she is not expected to be the only Fatui Harbinger in Natlan. Capitano is strongly hinted to be the region's primary antagonist, as mentioned by Nouvellet in version 4.2. Depicted as a warrior on Natlan's battlefields, many Genshin Impact players anticipate his potential inclusion as a playable character in future updates. According to leaks by C. Lee, it appears that skins for Sucrose and Amber have been ready for some time. Despite this, Genshin Impact has not yet released them officially. The designs of these outfits are speculated to resemble the alchemist uniform worn by Albedo from the Knights of Favonius. Recently, HXG underscore Diluic and Uncle Tavat shared intriguing details about the upcoming region of Natlon and Genshin Impact. HXG underscore Diluic provided insights into a new dragon mount system, while Uncle Tavat leaked information about additional systems aimed at enriching the game's exploration aspects. These leaks align with the developers' efforts to enhance the player experience by introducing various systems such as Wave Riders and the Four Leaf Sigil. One particularly exciting rumor suggests that players may soon be able to ride dragons in Natlon, adding a highly anticipated exploration feature to the game. With the success of underwater exploration, players are eager for new content in this upcoming region. Developers have hinted at Natlon being the wasteland of Mir Javari, and in-game interactions further suggest that this new area could offer content and exploration surpassing even Sumeru's desert. Considering these hints, Natlon could be the perfect setting for introducing mounts to Genshin Impact. Plum Team Leaks, through Gura, recently shared intriguing details on the Genshin Impact Leak subreddit regarding Natlon. According to the leak, the upcoming region's combat mechanics are set to enhance Cryo and Hydro teams significantly. This development is particularly interesting, as it suggests a potential boost for older characters with Cryo and Hydro visions that traditionally scale with attack rather than HP. Version 5.0 is expected to introduce a new artifact set, tailored to support these characters, aligning with the leaked information. Version 5.0 of Genshin Impact will introduce several new artifact sets, to its strongbox feature. These sets include Deepwood Memories, Gilded Dreams, Desert Pavilion Chronicle, Flower of Paradise Lost, Nymph's Dream, and Verukasha's Glow. Recent leaks from Foul have stirred up the Genshin Impact community, revealing a potential shift in character progression. Rumors suggest that the upcoming 5.0 update will introduce Ascension Level 100 for all characters newly added to the roster. However, some community members have noted that character level 100 stats were initially present only in the game files. The increased level cap would result in higher ascension stats, base HP, and base attack for characters, enhancing their overall damage and support capabilities. While this update would require players to invest more time, original resin, and resources, many speculate that it could lead to improvements in boss drop rates and ascension rewards, ultimately saving players time and increasing resin efficiency. Additionally, there is anticipation that these changes could also impact new and existing bosses and enemies, offering a more engaging combat experience for players. <laughs> 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 
Genshin Impact's latest official announcement has revealed that Hoyoverse will be increasing the device performance requirements with the introduction of the new Natlon region in version 5.0. Fortunately, for many players, the game will maintain its current minimum requirements. However, new optimization strategies may affect the visual quality of certain in-game elements. To learn more about the graphics and performance enhancements in version 5.0, be sure to check out our latest video. While the source of these leaks has a proven track record of accurately predicting Genshin Impact developments, it's important to note that leak details are subject to change. Therefore, it's advisable to approach them with caution. Thank you for watching. Any new leaks or updates will be included in future videos. Stay tuned for more exciting content.